let me apologize that I haven't posted a video in a very long time again. And I feel really bad, you guys, but I've been really busy. As you can see, you can see my hand in that balloon. But anyways, um, I've been really busy with homework, and I thought I would be able to make videos once school started, but obviously I couldn't because I was busy with homework, and also it was really stressful. So anyways, let's get to the video. So what happened to the lighting but anyways um today is Caroline's birthday and yesterday was Taryn's birthday so I decided to do a quick video on in honor of their birthdays so yes so what I'm gonna be showing you are the Halloween decorations and fall decorations uh that I added to my doll's bedrooms to make them look fall and like Fallish, I guess that's a new word. So let's get to it. But before we start, I just wanted to show you the gifts that I gave Taryn. So I gave her the Jack Lantern balloon, as you can see here. It's just like mini, and I got at the dollar store actually. Um, and then I also got her her costume uh, with things I actually owned. But I put a lot of hard work into this. So, anyways, uh, I just did her hair in three little ponytails to make it like crazy I haven't got the goggles yet I'm working on those um, and then also she's wearing this yellow shirt from Piggy Pink Girl and then I decided to take black elastic to make suspenders and she's just wearing a dumb skirt that doesn't fit her I tried to do um, put skinny jeans on her but they wouldn't do up so it was really difficult, but that's her costume. She's being a minion for Halloween, which is really cute. And let's get to it anyways. So the decorations in Taryn's bedroom are obviously this adorable scarecrow that I got at the dollar store. It's really detailed and perfect doll size. And it just has like the straw and stuff and straw sticking out of its hat. I just love it. It's so adorable. And it's a perfect addition to my fall doll room. Also, in all of the doll rooms, you'll see little jack-o'-lantern Halloween bags. These uh, I purchased at Michael's for $2 in a pack of six. So I'm not going to tell you that again in each bedroom. I'm telling you now. And in each, uh, well, in most of the trick-or-treating bags, there are little candies. Eh, not little candies. Um candy bars that are perfect doll size. I made these with rectangular um, cardboard and I wrapped it with tin foil and then I also cut out logos from candy wrappers and taped that on. Also on her bed is this adorable orange teddy bear that I got at the dollar store. It's another perfect doll sized item and it's just orange. It has a black bow around its neck and then also has this little stitch in its head and as well it also has this uh, adorable witch hat so that's a perfect addition to her bed from Terrence's bedroom is the living room that I just have this navy couch that I made and I put one of the Halloween trick-or-treating bags on it Okay, so beside the couch is this like bin thing that's full of doll food and then I have the game center inspired by like fall county fairs and like all the fair games in the fall time. Um, I thought of this creative idea and I thought it was really cool and I decided to do it. So what I did was just made a table with uh, half a shoe box and then toilet paper rolls and I put on this tea towel as a tablecloth then I have this mini board game of trouble and then I have I'm pretty sure that's trouble and then I have this like little game with the little balls and then also I have a rotten pumpkin it's not supposed to be rotten but it looks so disgusting now it had a hole in it well like it got bruised or something and then it turned rotten so now it's disgusting but anyways and then also I put the prizes on top so I have two bunnies a bear and a little like beanie boo so I thought it was a really creative idea and yeah so that's the game center inspired by county fairs in the fall okay past all of this is Stephanie's bedroom so Stephanie I just love her bedroom it's really cozy um, 
Okay, and she's also in like the fall spirit. I wouldn't exactly say Halloween, but she has more of like the fallish type um, things in her bedroom because she's not wearing a costume. And yeah. Anyways, so I just have a real pumpkin, a mini pumpkin that I got at my local grocery store. Um, this is beside the backpack. And also here is Rosebud. Just a beautiful rosebud right there. Um, and then on, she's on her bed right now with her pumpkin spice latte. This is actually a 2012 12 ornament. Um, they have these at Starbucks any, every year, but I decided to use it for a fall pumpkin spice latte because those are the bomb.com, guys. If you haven't tried those and you're allowed to have like coffee and stuff, well, if you're allowed to have Starbucks, go get get that because it's really good um and then also there she has this mini pumpkin cupcake a halloween inspired that i made with palmer clay and again one of those jack-o-lantern um trick-or-treat baskets and also adorable an adorable poster from the recent issue of american girl magazine and it just has a, an adorable black kitten on it with a pumpkin beside it and it says pick me i just think it's so adorable and it's perfect for halloween so before i move on i just wanted to let you know that i did move to caroline's bedroom so it used to be over there and she shared a room with stephanie but now it's over here beside my dresser so yeah just letting you know so the first addition to caroline's bedroom which is actually my favorite i think it's really cozy and cute and really fun for fall but anyways first i have this fall colored picture frame i like how it has like the yellow and the red and like the fall colors and i just thought it would be a cute addition because i put a little picture of caroline from a catalog so i thought that was cute what's that reflection it's just creepy i don't know what that is Okay, anyways, and then also my favorite addition on her bedside table, I made this little sweater weather candle. Um, I just took a battery operated tea light and I took scrapbook paper and wrapped that around the candle and I wrote sweater weather and it, I wrote bath and body works at the bottom if you can see that and I made a little bath and body works candle that's perfect doll size so I thought that was really cute because sweater weather is one of my favorite fall scents from Bath and Body Works so yes okay just if you were wondering my voice does sound a little bit like weird today I don't know why um but yeah <laughs> anyways um another addition to her bedroom are these little like falling leaves I have this like little mirror cutout of that says dream and then it starts there and these fake fall leaves that I got at the dollar store fall into her bedroom so it looks like the leaves are falling down into her bedroom I guess. And then I also made this little window with white paper, just plain white computer paper and a picture from a magazine to make like a fall window and as you can see the scenery in that picture. So it actually looks like you're looking outside during the fall time. It's just really pretty. And also, another addition to her bedroom are, like, I just put a pumpkin there. One of the fake leaves. This is all beside her bed, at the end of her bed. And then I just have, like, this little, like, drawer thing that I got at the dollar store that's blue. And on top of that is a trick-or-treating bag that's full of candy as well and also one of my favorite pog backs from bath and body works if you are not familiar with pog backs they're just like the hand sanitizers from bath and body works i'm obsessed with everything from bath and body works as well so yeah this is in cranberry sauce eat ham and it's just like a little thanksgiving addition to your bedroom instead of just making it like more halloween thanksgiving is also an awesome holiday so yes to end the video i decided to show you caroline's costume so she's just being a princess she has her meat outfit on it's just a really simple costume she has a tiara and a fan 
to make it a little bit more elegant. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!